All right, so now we're going to look at, we're on 6 1, 51, and it says sketch a graph of y equals 2 plus 3 times f of x plus 1. So what I did was I copied the problem, but I started with a different graph so that you could kind of watch this and then figure out, okay, what am I doing, and see if you could replicate it for yourself. So um, there's a couple of things going on here. First of all, I know that there's a vertical stretch of three. So mm, I hope I left myself enough room. And then right here, I know that it's shifting left one. And the reason I know it's left one is because I look right there. That says plus one. And on the inside, it always goes the opposite way. And then I'm going to shift up two later. So vertical stretch of factor of three. I go left one and up two. So here's what I'm going to do for my x values. So I'm going to make a new little chart. because I've got some stuff going on here. What happens is this says x plus one, but that means my x value is going to go back one because that tells me to shift left. So I'm just going to go through, and I wrote down all of my points. I did an A, B, C, and D. And so what I know is that my X value of everything is going to shift left 1. So this should go to negative 4. This will go to negative 1. This will go to 0 and 5. Uh, that's a positive 5. So I just kind of found what's going to happen to my X value. And then... I'm going to look at my y's, and I know what happens is this. I go 3 times my y, and then I add 2. Now, that's not exactly in the direction, in the, the order that they have right there, but what I know is that the commutative property says I can add in any order, so that's okay. So now, I'm going to go 3 times negative 4 is negative 12 plus 2, negative 10. Oh, good. That fits on my graph. Um, then here, zero. So three times zero, zero plus two. This one, my y value is four, so three times four is 12, plus two is 14. So I didn't do the best job making my graph, but that's okay. Um, and then here, my y value, sometimes I get confused and look at the x value, but nope, I want my y value times 3 uh, plus 2 is 2. Now, it makes sense that these two have the same y value because they do in the original picture. So let's see. Now I can do, this says my point here is negative 4, negative 10. So negative 4, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to cough in a minute. Really sorry about that. Okay, now, does that make sense? Well, do we have um, times 3 plus 2, so negative 12 plus 2 gives you negative 10, and it would shift 1 to the left? Yep, that actually makes sense with what this says. Then 0, 0, this one goes to negative 1, 2. <coughs> and then 0, 14. Oh my gosh, that's way up here. I don't even have room for that. Sorry. And 5, 2. So what happened was I doubled this, or I did it times 3. But it was already at zero, and then I shift left one up to this one. It was four, so I tripled it and then added two, so that's 14. I know that's not exactly right. Then left one, so actually, yep, yeah, there we go. That is craziness. Um, but there we go. It should work.